Hello students in this question we have been given that a shopkeeper buys some books for rupees 80 if he had bought four more books for the same amount each book would have costed him rupee 1 less find the number of books he bought so we say that the total number of books he bought equal to x Since he bought them for rupees eighty, we say that cost is equals to rupees eighty. Therefore, this is the cost of x books. So, cost of one book will be equal to the total amount spent upon the total number of books. So, eighty upon x rupees. Now comes another situation where he bought four more books. So. New number of books would be four more than initial. Therefore, x plus four for the same amount. So the cost is still rupees eighty. So cost of one book. Would be equal to eighty upon x plus four rupees. So now they have told that the difference is of one rupee. Therefore, we can form the equation that eighty upon x minus eighty upon x plus four is equal to the difference in the price per book. This is equal to one. Now this is a linear equation in one variable. and we have to solve this so first of all we take the lcm which is x into x plus 4 thus we get in the numerator 80 x plus 4 minus 80 x this is equal to 1 this gives us 80 x plus 320 Minus eighty x upon x square plus four x is equal to one. Eighty x and eighty x in the numerator cancels off. We get three twenty upon x square plus four x is equal to one. Thus, we get x square. Plus four x minus three twenty is equal to one. On splitting the middle term, we get x plus twenty into x minus sixteen is equal to. Zero. Thus, since the product of two brackets is equals to zero, so at least one of them should be zero. Therefore, either x plus twenty is equals to zero, or x minus sixteen is equals to zero, which would individually give us x is equals to minus twenty, or x is equals to Sixty. As we know that the x which we had let was equal to the number of books, and number of books can never be negative, so we reject this value, and this would be the solution to our problem. Sixteen books he had bought for rupees eighty. You can write the reason in the brackets. Number of books can never be negative. therefore number of books is equals to 